Okay, so now that we finished with that config file, let's go ahead and see if Windows is able to access our share folder. So we'll come up here, we do backslash backslash, and then Raspberry Pi. It's going to be the same name as your system. And there we go, we can see the share. Now let's see if we can edit it. So, yep, now we open it up. It's going to prompt us for our access. That's going to be our Pi user. So, PI, password, Raspberry. There we go. Okay, now we're in the folder. Now the Pi user should have access to uh, read and write here. Let's just go ahead and see if we can create a folder. Oh, there we go. And let's see if we can modify it. It allowed us. And let's add some text. Hello. Control S to save. Close. And we'll hop back on the Pi side here. Uh, now let's see if that file's there. So let's do a CD out. CD out and list there's our mount so let's go ahead and uh, pop in there list there's our text folder nano and there's our hello okay now remember everything in our mount is being backed up so everything we save here will be on our raid and if we ever lose one of our drives, the other drive will be an exact copy of it and we can access the information placed into this mount. Alright, and that concludes our project for uh, making a Raspberry Pi RAID server with uh, two mirrored drives and the Samba file server and a password protected shared folder. Um, if you want more Samba information. I'm going to be making some more videos on Samba specifically. Um, See if you want to create a share folder that's not protected that anyone can access. Um, example, you have some videos you want to share around the house so your Roku or whatever media device can access those movie files. We'll be going over that in uh, another video. So thank you all for watching. Please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Any links to tools can be found down below. Please leave a comment if these steps did or did not help you, and thank you for watching.